If you like minimalism, if you like modularity, you're gonna love today's desk setup tour. Let's go. Let's start with the thing everyone's gonna ask about, the desk. I'm gonna be sure to link their website down below because this desk is one of my favorite desks that I've found ever. This is an awesome, high quality wood desk that is completely modular, made right here in the USA. When it ships to you, it comes in this big box with all these different puzzle pieces that you can kind of fit together however you want, which is so cool. You can make this a sitting desk, you can make this a standing desk. Let's say you're four foot 11 or you're six foot 11, you can change this desk up to fit you most comfortably. I hate when you go get a desk and your knees are banging on the tabletop because it's just too low. I love this natural blonde colored wood finish, but they also have a black model, definitely check them out. So when you get the main desk, you can also get different accessories to go on it. As you can see on the sides of my desk, I added these little shelves so that they hold my studio monitors or speakers. And then you can also get other pieces like this one, a large shelf so that you can have one shelf, two shelves, you can have one up high, down low. You can make this however you want your desk to be. Today I've set this up to be my wife's work from home station. Let's check it out. We'll start first with the shelf on the side. It's not that decorated because I just wanted to keep it minimal. It just has some pictures, some little quotes, little art pieces, and of course some flowers for my wife. I have my little Nova Technology sign that I just threw up there. Follow me at Nova Technology on all social platforms. And then of course my wife loves essential diffusers, so we have a little diffuser over there as well. The shelves from Ikea, I'll try to link it below along with everything else in this video also. And one of my favorite Bluetooth speakers ever, the Marshall Stanmore, right there. The lamp in the back is also from Ikea and I always use LifeX bulbs. I love those things. The couch you kind of see in the corner right here is another white and wood themed couch. It's actually a 20 year old couch from Ikea from my parents. I don't know where you can find it. The rug that we're sitting on that you can see in some of the B-roll shots is the, again, Ikea, but off-white collection rug. Definitely helps with a little bit of the echo in here too. And then the chair is just a generic wooden chair, a little bit rustic looking. My wife's had it since college. As for the speakers, these are definitely overkill for my wife, but I just had a set laying around. These are the Yamaha HS5s in the white colorway. I love these things. I've had them for literally six or seven years already and they're holding strong. Since this is my wife's work from home station, I wanted to make sure she had some stationery and some writing utensils. So I have these three little cups. These are also from Ikea, from their Scottish or their wall peg collection. They look great right here. Other little knickknacks on this desk, we have just this little round mirror. I actually really like this thing. I steal it all the time for what I'm filming to kind of, you know, check the hair. My wife is a huge lover of succulents and plants and all that. So we have these cool little geometric pots right here. And then one of them I'm using to hold her little oil diffuser bottles. And on the other side, she is a huge, huge lover of sloths and llamas. So I got her this awesome little succulent plant set. Won me some husband points. Next to that is one of my personal new favorite tech items. This little best tech hub kind of thing is awesome. It makes it so that you don't have to bend down low and try to get to the chargers. It has USB ports on it and it has full three prong plugs. Definitely check this one out. And then powering all this is the late 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro. I kind of want to get a white cover for this guy so it matches the full setup, you know what I mean? Got a little white and wood theme going here. I like it. And then one of my new favorite parts of this setup, shout out to Accessorize Me, is this awesome tray for your Apple Magic Keyboard and Magic Trackpad. This is from an Etsy shop. This guy is awesome. You gotta check him out. He's a super nice guy. Go check out his shop. This tray basically allows your Magic Keyboard and your trackpad to feel like it's a laptop so that they're stacked on top of each other like that. And it's just so clean. It fits so nicely. And I absolutely love this thing. So when you look at the desk, there's a huge work surface. And so my wife will usually have her laptop just right there typing. But sometimes you want a little bit of extra height so you're not looking down, you're not hunched over, so you can sit up. So there's a nice laptop stand that's also modular coming with this desk. You can put your laptop up and instead of using your laptop keyboard and trackpad, she has now this separate one that she can put on the tabletop and it still feels like using a MacBook Pro and I love that. Although the desk feels small and doesn't take up a ton of room in your actual room, it's got a ton of workspaces, ton of shelves and different areas for you to decorate, for you to store, and for you to make this desk yours. Yo, we're all working from home, gotta pay some bills. This video is sponsored by MacPaw and Clean My Mac X. Seriously, if you
you haven't checked out Clean My Mac X, what are you doing? It's on the Apple App Store, it's an official app, and it is so, so useful, especially because, like I said, I did not upgrade the SSD storage on my MacBook Pro, so it drives me crazy when I'm almost running out of footage all the time, and Clean My Mac X has really helped me with that. That menu widget, that is so useful. When my computer's almost running out of storage as I'm downloading files, it'll give me a pop-up warning, and then right from that widget, I can delete some files, I can edit some things, so that I can have some more storage. Some other useful features I've been trying out are the malware remover, the uninstaller, the updater. There's tons of useful features in this awesome app. You can find it in the Apple App Store. Check it out. Honestly, it's not that hard to go through your computer and find different files to slowly delete one at a time, but I feel like this app has just streamlined things for me, made things so much easier, and even found things that I didn't even know were still on my computer. Shout out to MacPaw and Clean My Mac X for sponsoring this video. I'll be sure to link them in the description below. We wanted to keep this setup minimal, so this has been my wife's functional, productive, minimal work from home desk setup tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to smash that like button. And if you didn't, smash that down button twice and hit that subscribe button. Join the family, hit that notification bell. My name is Jerry Lamb with Nova Tech, and to the next one and beyond. Hey, have you seen my last video? Cause you know, that one's linked right here. Check it out.